So there are two of the skills that we talk about, which I think relate to this point. So one is about strengths and one is about confidence. So in order for me to say what's the worst that could happen, um, I had a lot of understanding about what I was good at. Like I'd focused a lot about what, what, where do I add value? All these companies that I want to work in, whether it's my own or these other ones, where do I really add value? And I knew what that was. That was building relationships. That was making things happen. It was developing people. It was growing businesses. That you can put me in lots of different contexts and those are the things that I will be good at. There's a whole host of things that I'm not good at, but those are the four things that where I add value. So I knew that even if I left that career, uh, in corporate life and did my own thing it didn't work out I could still trade on those strengths in lots of different ways and I and I had that insight into my strengths I also had worked really hard on my confidence so we often talk about these things called confidence gremlins and they are like beliefs that hold you back it's the uh, if I fail I'm doomed uh, it's the I don't know enough I'm going to get found out um, I'm not smart enough. I'm not old enough. It's all of those. And sometimes it's all of those at the same time. And lots mm. of people have confidence gremlins and they stop them taking action, stop them taking chances, stop them speaking up, stop them moving in different directions because of all of that doubt. And I, of course, have those doubts that everybody has confidence gremlins, but I've worked really hard on mine. And so some of mine, my confidence gremlins are about, um, I was used to worry that if I asked difficult questions, people would think I was a difficult person. And so it was just better to be just nice all the time to everybody. And then I started <laughs> to realize that that meant that I wasn't challenging things that I didn't think was right or standing up for things that I thought should happen and that it was holding me back and it was holding other people back. And, and once I learned to cage that gremlin, I didn't, I don't, I don't really worry about being a difficult person anymore. I don't go out of my way to be a difficult person, but it's not a belief that holds me back if there's something that I want to say or something I want to do. And so for me, the reason I could say what's the worst that could happen is because I'd caged my confidence gremlins and I had the insight into my strengths. And I know that it might sound it might sound flippant to say well, what's the worst that can happen but when you have that as the foundation for the career choices that you make I think you can be a bit bolder and a bit braver 